Would you bet on wood as a space age material? This is the world's first wooden satellite. It was built using traditional Japanese techniques without screws or glue and delivered to orbit aboard a SpaceX rocket. In just a few months, researchers will assess how well this wooden box withstood brutal temperature swings, plunging from freezing to boiling every 45 minutes as it cycled between sunlight and darkness. The cube crafter from Hinoki Wood once sheathed swords, but is now shielding semiconductors from other electronics from intense space radiation. It's a critical test. Can wood replace aluminum casings before the number of satellites skyrockets from 6,000 in 2022 to a projected 60,000 in 2030? Because the future of Earth might depend on launching one of the oldest construction materials into the space age. Right now, retired satellites are sent plummeting back to Earth, burning up in the atmosphere, but leaving behind aluminum oxide particles. If satellite mega constellations launch as planned, they could generate over 260 tons of this pollutant annually, which threatens to erode the ozone layer that shields us from harmful UV radiation. Unless, that is, we switch to a material like wood that burns up cleanly, leaving the ozone intact. The push for sustainable space tech is part of a much bigger revolution in material science. Scientists are branching out in ways we never imagined, transforming wood into translucent windows, flexible paper circuit boards, and even paper batteries. If you're wondering how paper could possibly hold a charge, I've got a video on that one.